Good morning, happy March 2nd, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where yesterday we went to a recruitment center, and we were able to recruit someone to join our team. So we now have a swashbuckler, and we were told that we would likely have the chance to pick up another critter today. So let's see what our options are. Go ahead and tear this off. And we have Saturday the 2nd and Sunday the 3rd of March, which is Stars Day and Sun's Day of Frost Melt. And it does appear that we have three critters available for purchase. Or for hire, I suppose. So it says, you pass by a bug trainer who is auctioning off some gentle bugs that have been well trained as pets. These creatures can be very helpful in a variety of situations. Purchase any you can afford. Okay. And these work just kind of like the, the swashbuckler <clears throat> with their abilities. So one thing that's interesting is how these three are set up. If we look at the tough snail, you have a 50% chance to draw the right color, but the number you need is, is higher. You need an 8 or higher. And that gives you plus 1 to con. The other two, you need a specific suit, but you, the number you need is lower. And one benefits intelligence and one benefits wisdom. So this is interesting because needing an 8 or higher means there's a very high chance that if the ability triggers, that you are taking a damage with an 8 or higher. Because that means it's just uh, 8 or 9 that you don't take damage, because I believe a 10 counts. I know face cards count. Let me double check here. Okay, no, so a 10 will not damage you. Okay, it is just Jack, Queen, King, and then the Joker of that color. So you've got 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. So if it triggers, there is slightly more than a 50% chance, because there's, there's four cards that'll damage you, three that won't. So, um, well, I guess that's doubled, so there's, because there's two suits, so there are six cards that don't trigger it, um, and seven cards that do trigger you taking a damage. So, okay, so that's interesting. Now, I do notice that the Tough Snail and the Cricket both have two health, and the Horn Beetle has three So the Horn Beetle is a bit, you know, it's a hardier. It will last a bit longer. And the Horn Beetle costs the most at 10. We can afford to buy exactly one of them, but we can't afford all of them. So <clears throat> as far as a stat boost, we have the option of Con, Intellect, or Wisdom. And... I suppose Wisdom is the most interesting of those, because it's the one that we're currently at plus zero. Or Intellect, oh, because we're at minus one for Intellect. So that's also pretty interesting. Hmm. So I, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to get the Tough Snail. The ability is, I guess I could do the math. Um... There are, well, I, I kind of already did the math. There are, um, what? We've got an 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. So there are 6 cards. So there are 12 cards uh, of Diamonds and Hearts plus the Joker. So there are 13 cards that will trigger that ability. And then for both the Cricket and the Horn Beetle, it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. And then the Joker. So there are 11 cards that trigger that ability. And I suppose can I suppose you shouldn't really consider the fact that there's more face cards. Like it, it's the same number of damaging face cards because um 
the face cards will damage you regardless of if they are the, the correct suit. So, the fact that there are more triggering, more damaging cards that also trigger the ability with the Tough Snail, while it is true, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, I mean, I suppose mathematically, then, we should take the the Tough Snail, because it's just most likely to trigger. Because I said, what did I say, like 14, 13? 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Yeah, so there's 13 cards as opposed to the 11, so it's pretty close. Um, but the Tough Snail just will trigger more often. So maybe we take that one. It's funny, because that was kind of the, the stat that I was least interested in. But I mean, I suppose it's still good to have it. Like, there are times where having, you know, a plus two to con will be better than just having a plus zero to intellect. It is, so it is interesting because I think a a sound strategy that you could play the calendar with is you try to make a few of the stats quite good. Because a lot of times you kind of have options about how to tackle something. So, you know, if you have two or three options about how to tackle something, you just find the stat that works best for you, and by that I mean that is just the strongest, and you just do that one. And so far, a lot of the times where you have kind of a choice of which stat to use to, to tackle an ability, it doesn't seem often to make like a big difference which stat you choose. Like, it's either the same um, difficulty, like the same role you need to hit, or it's it's very close, and the the outcomes aren't usually that different. I feel like there probably are times where it has been. I'm confident there have been, but I think more often than not, it doesn't matter. So I think with that logic, I could just say, you know, let's get the con, because then you know when we have chances to make con rolls, you know, like you know if we have to choose between making like a con and a strength, why well, just make a con because I'm plus two to that. I'm not actually, I'm plus one with a chance to get another plus one, but you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm more tempted to try to be well-rounded because I also tend to not always pick the best stat for my role because sometimes I just think like flavorfully, like if I was in that world, in that moment, I would try to tackle something, you know, a different way, even if it wasn't necessarily my strength. So, <clears throat> that said, I, I just, I do think I should take the one that mathematically just will trigger most often, because, uh, you know, if I'm going to use these, I want the, I want to actually get the benefit from them. So I suppose we'll grab the Tough Snail. So there should be a sticker for that back here. Let's take... Oh, those are the items. The equipment, rather. Yes, here we go. And our Tough Snail. There we go. Okay. Only two health again. We're not buying the three health one, but I think that's okay. And then my sleeves have fallen down. All right. Let's go ahead and apply this. Now we have two critters. Very exciting. All right. Oh, that is really not centered. <laughs> kind of like the first one. That's okay. There we go. So we now have, uh, yeah, a decent amount of, uh, of party members already, it feels like. And we have chances to <coughs> increase damage to increase strength, to increase con, and then we can also be stealthy at times, which is cool. So very good. Let's go ahead and take our amber down to three. And actually, before I write it, let's go ahead and roll for the Sunday Lottery. Roll our d6 here. Hey, we rolled six, which I think is like three, if I remember correctly which is great. Love to see it. 
Uh, oh, it's four. Look at that. Okay, so we go up to seven. And even though we do now have seven, which is enough to purchase the cricket, um, that is very much... Uh, I, I feel like the... Um, this... The buying of critters was the Saturday day. So I'm not going to allow myself to spend the amber on buying like a cricket. I don't know if I would anyway. I like I do think I may want to have some amount of amber left over anyway. So even if I could, I'm not sure whether or not I would. But I don't have to figure out if I would because I, I'm not going to let myself regardless. So all right. Well, we are now uh, re-geared up a little bit. And we'll see how we tackle whatever comes next week. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.